Right, sorry people, I just got a little message for you before we crack on this video and it's simply just, I just want to say thank you because Monday, yeah, Monday just gone was obviously Auto Fest at Shrinebrook, my car show, my first ever car show that I've ever done and the turnout was bloody unbelievable. The amount of people that turn up from all over the country to come and see me, see the golfers and obviously watch the draw, it was, it was such a good day and I'm so grateful that I walked around the show that day and the amount of respect and the credit that I got from everyone, um, thank you is just not a strong enough word to use. The, the gratitude that I feel for each and every one of you, honestly, that day just made it so real for me. And when you see all these numbers on YouTube, just little, like a view, another view, another view, they're all people and you, you people are real. We're all the same, you know, we've got all the same passion, the same love, and it's all for cars. And it was just nice to go along that day and be a part of that crowd, man. I absolutely loved it. So thanks to everyone who come along. Obviously, I know not everyone could, could have come along and I get that, that's fine, but um, I will be doing more. So if anyone did miss out, I'm sure I'll be doing another one at some point in time. That's it, I just wanted to say thanks, all right? Um, I'm not gonna bore you with any more of um, my soft feelings, but uh, the, um, what else was I gonna say? The Golf R, obviously you're gonna wanna know about that. I've got some news coming about the winner of the Golf R in a video as well, which is gonna be absolutely unreal. Um, and secondly, the car show itself, I've got a video coming up about the show. Uh, we had a guy there filming that day, so we're gonna try and get that up very soon as well, all right? Let's, um, I'm gonna stop banging on, we'll get on with the video. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a, uh, a video on this thing here. It's a, a Carly OBD code reader um, for a VW Golf R. So for those that have never seen my channel before, you're probably going to be wondering why I've got two almost identical Golf R's parked here. Now, there is a simple explanation for that. This car here, uh, by the time this video goes live, will probably be gone. It will no longer be mine because a few weeks ago, I announced that I'm going to be doing car competitions where you get a chance to win a car uh, for a little bit of money, little amount of money. And that car, uh, someone's actually won that car. I don't know who at this moment in time because uh, this video was filmed a couple of weeks ago. But by the time it goes live, someone would have won that car for just 25 quid. Okay, so that one sold out. Um, this car is like the new thing now. You can now win this car for £19.50 at my website, planetadreams.co.uk. Just down there, look, if it zooms in. And differences between these two cars is that one's running at 562 bhp. That one's currently running at stock power, uh, but it is being tuned. This car uh, does also come with the private number plate, whereas that one don't. That's actually my own private number plate. So that's coming with a private number plate. This one's also a year newer than that one, and this one has done lower mileage. This has done just over 15,000 miles. So it's a nice car. Um, but like I say, if you want to win, if you, if you want your chance of winning that car, you've got to visit www.planetdreams.co.uk. Also, by the way, the winner of this car is going to get this Carly dongle with the car, okay? So the winner of that car is actually getting quite a lot. But, um, but yeah, let's uh, jump in and check it out, yeah? Well, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've actually still not used this thing. So, um... Let's, I'm going to just do it all completely off the cuff. I'm going to just plug it in, get the app up, and go through it with you on camera, all right? So let me just plug this in first, and then um, we'll see what it's like, yeah? Just under here. There you go, and we're connected, all right? So, Carly app for VAG, here we go. Okay, so when you open up the app, it's asking you uh, what car you've got. So we'll go with um, Golf Mark 7, gasoline, because I think Carly are an American-based company, 20... What's this, 15? Okay, so we're done. Uh, connect, click connect at the bottom. Carly's running, it's all looking very promising. Successfully connected. Right, so we're in. Um, so on the screen here, you can see there's loads of uh, different options, diagnostics, used car, I don't know what that is. We'll, we'll go through them all, and anything that highlights or stands out to me, I'll mention on the video, right? Uh, but there's plenty of things going in video in motion, OBD. So let's just flick through. And it's a good way of these pe the people buying tickets for this car to know if there's anything wrong with this car. So let's uh, diagnostics, yeah. Continue to diagnostics. Engine 
Uh, it's asking me what do I want to diagnose. Start to diagnose. It's loading now, so let's, let's see what it comes up with. Number of fault codes it's found is one. So it's showing me that radio key two voltage is too low. So the only fault in this whole car, according to this, is key number two has got no power, which is quite interesting. Uh, frequency two, this goes into some more details. Interesting, okay, so pretty good car. So I need to put a battery in key number two. Let's go back to the main menu now, used car. Let's see what this is. Continue to check. Mileage check. Let's start, let's do a mileage check on this car. This is interesting, isn't it? You know, I'm sitting here thinking, I hope that this mileage is correct in this car because all the effort that I've gone to to find this car, to travel there, to buy it, it's been an absolute mission. So let's, uh, let's see, this will be interesting. Finish, let's check it out. Right, mileages, here we go. 23 data points in the mileage. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Number of saved mileage is 23 that it's found, just down the bottom there. Um, current mileage from dashboard is 25,000 kilometers, which is obviously just over 15,000 miles. Um, and at the bottom it says, they've not actually discovered any mileage higher than the mileage that's indicated on the dashboard, okay? Excellent, so it's genuine low mileage car this is. Let's see what else we can do, coding. Let's put, don't try this message again, that's annoying me that is. This is well cool, you can do loads of it. So this video is gonna seem very sort of choppy, all right, because I am trying to re reduce the time on camera as much as possible for you. I don't want you sitting there waiting for this thing to load all the time. Uh, so, ah, oh, this is so cool. So in this menu, you can enable stuff, okay? Or like, yeah, I'll go through it and I'll explain more. Enable menu, daytime running lights. Definitely, I want them on. Of course I want daytime running lights. There is so, much you can do on here and i'm not going to fiddle about it it'd be impossible for me to film and show you each individual thing on here but there is so much stuff you can do deactivation of the number plate light while trunk is open that's obviously off so when the trunk is open open you can have it so you can turn i say trunk that's obviously american saying the boot when your boot lids open the you can have it so the number plate light goes off. Just silly things, but loads of things. In, like some things are actually going to be quite useful or massively useful. Let's be positive about it. This is this is amazing, and the list is absolutely huge. Uh, daytime running light with parking brake, folding mirrors with your key fob. So if you can't fold your mirrors on your key fob at the minute and you want to be able to do that, you can do that with this app. Um, Automatic, automatic locking when you start driving. I actually don't know why, but I like it when cars do that. There's a lot of BMWs do that. Um, bear in mind also as well, bear in mind also if you've got a BMW, an Audi, there's a whole list of cars you can get these dongles for, all right? So don't matter what you've got, I'm pretty sure that they'll offer you a dongle for the for the for your car, all right? Look, I cannot possibly get all of this stuff and test it in, on an individual basis in one video, it'd be impossible. But whoever wins this car is more than welcome to flick through this app and do whatever they want uh, with this car on the app, okay? But the idea of me doing this video is just to give you a brief insight on it. I cannot possibly show you the ins and outs of this app. So, what I'll do is I'll code now, yeah? I can't remember what I pressed. Uh, for stage of reasons, Carly, code anyway, yeah? Code now, yeah? Let's go. It's coding. Please turn the ignition off and on again. Let's just see if the daytime running lights work now, yeah? So let's start the engine. Um, let's go and check this out quick. One second. So look, just to confirm, uh, them lights are on, yeah? Engine is running. And if you come in here, lights are on auto, yeah? But um, they're, they're not on. Let's, I wonder if I turn them off. Let's see what happens when they turn off. Off, yeah? The lights are off. And you can see clearly that we've got daytime running LED lights, okay? That's pretty cool stuff. Let's jump back in. 
automatic engine start and stop I'm definitely turning that off all of them getting off uh, that does my head in so I think we'll start the engines to do this uh, deactivation of the engine start and stop system turn that off I hate engine start stop OBD function connect OBD no OBD no OBD error codes stored the in-depth diagnosis checks oh, no. okay cool so that's all good as well you can pretty much with this app you can customize your car to any extent you want I'm pretty sure that a lot of you watching this would not have had a clue because I certainly didn't have a clue that you could do so much to your own car with just an app uh, so I am impressed with it it's gonna take a hell of a lot of tinkering around a lot of time which you'll know that I don't have a lot of, uh, a lot of um, but a lot of time a lot of effort to get to know this app but if you are someone who loves tinkering about with your car loves a bit of tech and like to sort of play around with settings and stuff it don't look like it's going to do your car any harm you know I was a little bit concerned about uh, am I going to do something and then not be able to undo it it's dead easy it's, it's completely idiot proof well I think I'm going to leave it as that but I, um, I've got to say right I'm actually genuinely shocked how much you can do with an app on your phone like there is so much that can be done that mileage check thing that I've done on this car that is such a valuable thing to do like you can do it with HPI and stuff like that but really what you want to do is plug into the car and you want a computer to tell you if this car has done more mileage than the idometer reader says on the dash like even me as a car trader I hardly ever come across any clock cars but you just don't know do you you never know the full history of a car and by doing something like that I think that is massively impressive and all that code and stuff obviously there's so much on there that it, it would just be impossible for me to cram it all into one video if I do notice anything that stands out over the next couple of weeks whilst I'm driving this car and I will continue to have a little play around with this I'll let you know either on my Instagram or in future videos but the amount you can do on it is seriously impressive now Carly, um, the cost, that's something that that we haven't spoke about. The cost for this, to get the, the dongle and the app combined, delivered to your door, is about 100 quid. You've got to pay for the app. You do get a basic version of the app for free, but a basic version of any app is always, or usually, quite poor. So um, you've got to pay for the app. You've got to pay for the dongle. I don't, annoyingly, have a discount code for you. They've just provided me this one uh, for me to show you lot. On my channel but if you are if you've got a car that you love like most of us have and you like tinkering around with it personalizing it doing bits to it that you want to do yourself so it's suited to you um, this is definitely something that you well I'm not gonna say you definitely need to get it but it's definitely something I, I think it's a cool thing to have isn't it so um, you see the extent you can go to you can see how much it does it's definitely something that I'd recommend. Um, annoyingly for me, I'm not going to be keeping it because, um, like I say, it's staying with the car. But I am going to end the video there. Um, by this point, my car show would have been gone. So those that uh, attended my car show, although for me today in my life, the car show hasn't happened yet. Those that did attend my car show, thank you very much for coming along. Um, I'm assuming it was a brilliant turnout. That golf car now has gone. Uh, but this one is, as far as I know, is still available uh, to buy tickets for. If you want to know how you can win this car, visit my website, planetofdreams.co.uk, where you'll be able to win this Golf R for just £19.50. I'm going to be doing a lot more content on this car over the coming weeks, so look out for that. If you haven't subscribed to me already, I suggest you subscribe. It's going to get tuned before it goes to the new owner. It's going to VRS in Northampton next week to be done, so look out for them videos um i think i covered everything i feel like i've been filming for ages because like flicking through this app all that time i don't actually know how long this video has been but i assume quite long uh if it has if i banged on a lot i'm sorry about that but i just wanted to get that as much of that across on camera as i possibly could 
I'm going to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like the video, hit like. If you're new, do hit subscribe, because like I said, I've got loads more content coming, especially more on this car, so do hit subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader, right? Bye. In the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader, the AutoFest 2019 video is complete, and I'm gonna have it live for you on Sunday at six o'clock.